Welcome to this new episode of NBA 2K TV. Since last week's episode, two of our community members are $200,000 richer. Yes, with the My Team Unlimited tournaments wrapped, we now have two champions. And in case you missed any of the action, don't worry, we're recapping the highlights this week. And stay tuned because we have the post-game interviews with the winners. Let's get started. First up, here's the Last Gen Championship. The My Team Unlimited Championship Finals started with Last Gen as Swaggy P. Holmes looked to defeat last year's runner-up, Eyeball Splash. With $200,000 on the line, Game 1 started off with both players getting a feel for each other. Splash hit a three with Chris Mullen to take a two-point lead. And the 76ers showing off their style as they arrived at the arena today. No shortage of fashion sense in this one. Hi everyone, greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. GA, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks. Ben Simmons shooting has always been a topic of concern since he came into the league. Doc Rivers said, I don't want him to play thinking about shooting a jump shot. I want him to play downhill get in the paint, make plays, and get to the free throw line. He's a great player. I'm gonna give him the keys and let him be free. Guys? <laughs> Good idea. Thank you, DA. Now that we have a second, let's take a quick peek at the rebounding numbers for the last handful of seasons for Andre Drummond. We've seen him regress as a rebounder these past few seasons. His numbers have come down in that department, and I'd like to see him concentrate on bringing them back up. I'm sure the team would as well. You can never have enough rebound. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. And the small and power forwards are Thibel and Harris. Seth Curry is out there with Simmons. And it's Embiid in at the center. And for Los Angeles, Jonathan Isaac is out there with Wagner. Then there's Harris. Then there's Robin Lopez. And so here we go, the 76ers to start it. Simmons with it. Outside Curry. Over to the left wing. Here's Embiid. He hits hauled in by Los Angeles. Their last meeting was in Philadelphia, where they were unable to fight off the 76ers. Yeah, and looking back at their last game against this club, they were badly out rebounded. Plenty of daylight on that Seth shot. Curry. No hesitation from Seth Curry on the catch and shoot. You can see the confidence in his mechanics. That's beautiful. Releases from 15. That one off the back iron and out. Now here's Thibel. Defense right on him. That one misses. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. This game coming on the heels of their win against Chicago. Yeah, it was all hands on deck. Helps to get points off the bench when you're on the road. One thing we know, great teams in the NBA get production off the bench, and that was critical that night. Here's Simmons after the basket by Los Angeles. Knocked loose. Isaac with the steal. by Simmons banked in off the glass you know how about the big fella making the right play there to create that bucket the 76ers have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far and beat against Lopez after two misses to start the game he's on the board with that shot made Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Here's Curry. Nice pass. Right under the rack perfectly for the layup. Curry's got five. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. 
the very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. And this is why you get the ball into his hands. Let him establish the pace and rhythm of the game. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. One shot. The free throw off from Lopez. Robin Lopez, the prototypical lunch pail player. He brings so much skill, able to create some offense when his number is called. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. And one of the more versatile players in this league, Simmons gives you assists, rebounds, steals, and he continues to develop as a scorer. Simmons against Harris. Simmons passes to Embiid. Shoots over Wagner. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And with an expanding skill set, Embiid is able to hit shots from all over the court. And of course, Greg, Simmons gets the majority of his points from the foul line down. And a one-man wrecking through in transition. Excellent at driving the ball in the half court. And once he gets downhill, he is tough to stop. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the 76ers? Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. Well, they've established their presence in the paint tonight also. And a lot of their scoring coming from down low so far. And good on the second, so he makes them both. You know, one of us here knows Cole Anthony quite well. <laughs> the guy to my side here, Greg, is a dad. Care to share with us a story about your son playing hoops growing up? Well, I, I tell you one thing. He's always had that belief, that inner belief in his, himself and his abilities. And that's something that started early on in his life. And honestly, that's when I knew he had a chance to be a really good player. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from if you want to command the defender's respect. Thibault kicks to Simmons, and the call will be against Harris. That's his first foul, and Philadelphia making a change here. Maxie's checked in. Tyrese Maxie. Here's Simmons. What a tremendous game he played against Houston. Pocket six. Out to the right wing. Embiid from outside. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Here's Isaac. And Isaac throws him down. Can we remember this guy is six foot ten? So if he's in position, turn the lights out. 151 left here in the first quarter. Passes it to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Well, when you're careless with the basketball, you can expect that to happen. One thirty-seven left to play in the first quarter. Maxi passes to Curry. Now here's MB. Good D by Lopez. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. Wagner finds Isaac. Over Simmons. Simmons pulls it in. And it's Jonathan Isaac with the foul. Jonathan Isaac. That's his first foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. And Simmons has got the ball here for the 76ers. Maxi passes to Curry. Here's MB. Fade away. Yep, that one goes in there. Embiid's got eight. And the man just brings his lunch pail and goes to work. What sets MB apart is he does it with such ease. Now here's Lopez. 
A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. Second personal foul. Third team Los foul. Angeles shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Taking two shots. And the first one drops. Andre Drummond's checked in for the 76ers. So he gets them both. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. The pass to Curry. Back to Simmons. Drummond working against Lopez. That one good for two. Hey, that's Drummond. Throwback center who does almost all of his damage inside. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Lopez. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Harris passes to Drummond. And contact on foul. the shot, so he'll be shooting for those. First personal foul. Selected ranked overall in the 2012 draft. Drummond's carved out a nice NBA Andre career Drummond. for himself. Two shots. off as well so he misses both back to Isaac some solid defense from Harris well defensively if you allow him to get this close you're playing with fire he just happened to miss that one a big time effort for Joel Embiid providing a lot of energy for the 76ers scoring rebounding he was all over the place during that quarter they are writing his performance right now and we'll be right back after this. And a bit of a lull in the play of Joel B. He sees the need to turn up the heat a bit. I think I need to, you know, be more aggressive. Um, you know, just look to. And certainly Embiid has shown he can dominate. MVP level talent. He's just got to bring it every time down the floor. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. What stands out to you guys from the 76ers in this one? Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. And we know this. Every team in the league now seems to be looking to play with pace. They've got Wagner, Robin Lopez out there with Jonathan Isaac. Then there's Harris. And you look at the 2021 draft class, just some unbelievable talent at the top. I mean, Kay Cunningham, for me, probably is the consensus best player, but... Man, you got guys like Suggs and Green and Kaminga with that rare athleticism. Man, how about Mobley? He really defines what a modern-day big is supposed to be. I mean, what more could you want? So to begin the second quarter for the Philadelphia 76ers, Shake Milton is out there with Maxi. Then there's Andre Drummond. Then there's Ben Simmons. And it's Horton Tucker in at the three. Here's Drummond. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting well. 50% from the floor. Score of the basket is third after five shots. How about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off. Just sensational stuff. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, thank you. The Sixers have improved under Doc Rivers, who helped to define roles. River said, I did that day one. We're playing for Joel, but Ben is the facilitator. Simmons said, Doc's holding everybody accountable. It's about staying focused and not getting distracted. We have to stay locked in. Kevin, back to you. Well, they've got the talent for sure, D.A. Thank you. The 76ers trail by three. Here's Horton Tucker. Simmons against Isaac. Drummond trying to get himself free. And Simmons gets the bucket. And the closer Simmons gets to the rim, the more dangerous he becomes. I love watching him in attack mode. Isaac passes to Harris. 
to the inside. And there's Lopez. That's good on the assist from Harris. Lopez has got the lead up to three now for Los Angeles. Philadelphia with the ball. Coming into this, having notched a win against the Rockets in their last game. Yeah, Torrid shooting in that one. Some of it was good play calling. Some of it was just making tough shots. Well, give credit to a couple of their guys for their complete locked-in nature. They were just focused, and they made everything they looked at. Indoors, you can feel Andre Drummond's presence all over the floor. But it's really on the glass where he is truly at his most dominant. He is nearly unmatched in terms of his rebounding ability. This guy is a multi-time league leader in that stat. He works so hard to secure possessions for his team. And here is Los Angeles now. Philadelphia able to drain the three. Isaac and stolen by Drummond. Now the 76ers on the break. Here's Maxi. Another three for Philadelphia. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the D. Harris kicks to Isaac. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. Yes, oh, great. Ball movement there. So timeout called here. The first for Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. And that strange tension in the air. That's Ben Simmons. And the 76ers, what looked like a surefire separation, never materialized. And Simmons now still with the team. I can tell you, he has a lot to prove this year. And the 76ers with some changes. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Drummond. And Matisse Thibel subbed in for Taylor Horton Tucker. Harris, no good. And the 76ers with possession. They're on a 12 to 4 run. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Now it's a seven point Philadelphia lead. Harris passes to Isaac. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Don't let the frame fool you. Jonathan Isaac is lean, but he is unafraid of contact. I love that play. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Jonathan Isaac at the line for two. That's good from Isaac. You know, early on, Jonathan Isaac has drawn some comparisons to Kevin Durant. This is a long, athletic, multi-talented forward. He's got tremendous potential. Young's checked in for Lopez. Maxi, no good. Normally he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. Philadelphia with the ball. They're on a 14-5 run. And Simmons slams it in. And this is how Simmons puts up points. He challenges you close at the rim more often than not having the physical advantage. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Axie passes to Embiid. Milton with it. Let's it go from deep. The rebound by Young. 141 left in the first half. You know, two things happen there. Excellent coverage on the shot, and then finish the possession securing the boards. Ben and Simmons. Simmons slams it in. Oh, sensational speed by Simmons. Trucking it down the court and beating oh, this everyone. Guy. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. The 76ers leading by six. 112 left to play in the first half. Pass to Milton. Now the feed to Embiid. And it's blocked. What a play as he just snatches the shot out of midair. Here's Young driving to the basket. And it's Young finishing it off. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. 55 seconds left in the second quarter. Simmons passes to Maxey. Here's Milton. 
Count it good. He's got seven points for the quarter. And for a big man, MB sees the floor as well as any big. Recognizes when one of his guys has an opening for a shot. Well, a tough first quarter for this guy. You like to see the shot go in. Nicely done. Now, here's Milton. Guarded by Harris. Embiid against Young. And you know that's going to be goaltending, guys. So that's a free basket right there. Just barely too late, and it catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed, so can't fault him for going for the block. Tobias Harris has checked in for Shake Milton. The 76ers leading by six. It's blocked. And pushing it out. Here's Los Angeles. Oh, and the dunk by Young. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. Simmons left side. And it's Jonathan Isaac with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Second team foul. Coming onto the floor for the 76ers. Seth Curry. Just four seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. 76ers ahead, up four. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. With Sixers coach Doc Rivers, Doc, you've got to be pleased with the play of Joel Embiid so far. He's playing great. He's attacking early. He's making the right decisions. But overall, as a team, we're just nothing's quick. Everything's slow. And maybe it's All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, and welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here. If your name is Shaquille O'Neal, raise your hand, please. If your name is Shaquille O'Neal, raise your hand, please. I guess Shaq's not here today. If your name is Kenny the Jet Smith, raise your hand, please. And I'm Kevin Harlan. For the 76ers, the first quarter was pretty even. In the first period, their biggest lead was a slim three points. In the second quarter, they put in the work to create a slight scoring advantage. And from what we saw so far from the 76ers, Ken... And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to... Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Joel Embiid with a strong contribution in this one. And those extra chances mean so much. And he has shaped the game with the way he's been pulling down this offensive board. Really putting his handprint on this game. You love the hustle. You love the work ethic he has had on display. Our second half of basketball, and presented by Gatorade. Taking two teams all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Wagner is out there with Isaac. Then there's Harris. And it's Young. First one falls for him. <laughs> and I love how versatile Terrence Ross is. A wing that scores, rebounds, passes, and defends it. And his athleticism is absolutely incredible. This guy can get up near the cup and can turn it on and score in a hurry. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. MB. Joel. Hey, guys, we've become accustomed to this. Embiid's a dynamic scorer who's comfortable shouldering the offensive load. Pass to Young. Good, and Harris gets the assist. Young's got four points this quarter. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible, and boy, that's a terrific start right there. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. And then Young with the jam. Got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. The lead is two. Knocked away. 
And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. That ties it up. Young's got 18 points. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Curry on the wing. 76ers moving the ball around. Shot clock at six. Deep two from Feibel. Offensive rebound. A nice shot by Embiid. Well, Embiid. You see that nasty streak Embiid possesses. Part of why he's a superstar. Great motor. Shots good from Young. Young's got the game tied up here for Los Angeles. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. And Harris wide open. He shoots. Buries it from three-point range. And through hard work, this has become Harris's bread and butter. A knockdown shooter off the catch. And it's Harris off the drive. Wagner finds Harris. Here's Young. Hunted by Simmons. The nine-foot shot. And scoring with the play inside is Young. Young's got 12 points in just the second half. Philadelphia's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three point tonight. Four of seven shooting. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. Andre Drummond's checked in for Matisse Thibel. Passes to Simmons. Back to Embiid. To the paint. Here's Drummond. And Drummond throws it down. Yes, sir. Just a dynamic well, big man with incredible physical tools. Drummond frequently makes plays above the rim. Shot from 12. Again, Los Angeles. And what a great start to the second half. They've hit everything they've looked at thus far. Simmons against Harris. Right side Simmons, and a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And that is a huge block given how close this game is. A stop like that was right on point. Poked away, and Philadelphia has possession. Harris dishes to Simmons. Los Angeles foul. First personal foul. 76ers making First a switch here. Maxi's checked in. Now into the lineup for the 76ers. Tyrese Maxi. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. And here comes Harris leading the fast break. Now the pass to Isaac. Shoots over Embiid. Back to Isaac. Now Wagner guarded by Harris. Pass to Young. For the lead, Isaac trying to break free. And it's good on the way up. Young's got 26. Seven lead changes now, and we're just in the third quarter. Yeah, frustrating for a coach, but it's great to watch as a fan. And Embiid throws it down. And if you want to talk about a player who embodies the power game, then Embiid's your man. You know you're going to get some strong finishes anytime he's on the court. Out to the right wing. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. That one a tad well, offline Embiid. to the right, but drops in for him. He's got 20. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Count it, and the 76ers lead has been cut to just one in the basket from Isaac. This is encouraging to see Jonathan Isaac finish through contact. He obviously will fill out that frame and add some weight, but the balance really impressive. Here's Embiid, rejected by Young. 124 left to play in the third. Harris passes to Young. Good, and Harris gets the assist. Young's got 18 points just in the second half. And look at how the hustle game has been going for Los Angeles. We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. Yeah, and one more stat that jumps out is their steal total. They have real havoc on the defensive end. 
Yet another bucket in close. That's how he's earning his point today. The 76ers trail by three. So the wing on the left. Here's Embiid. The rebound by Young. Young's got six rebounds here tonight. And there's the drive. Shoots over Embiid. Young, no good. 76ers have gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. Another miss by Philadelphia. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. And then Young with the dunk. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over Isaac. Misses. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth quarter. Los Angeles on top as they end the third quarter on a 14-6 run. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. Let's hear what Doc Rivers has going on over in his huddle. Let's get stops. Focus on the stops. If you like the shot and they start falling, you still got to get stops. Hang on your defense. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. So on the floor for Philadelphia, the stars of this team in the post, Harris and Embiid. Axie out there with Matisse Thibel. And it's Horton Tucker in at the three. Got that one up quick. Young's got 35 in the game. Well, you love his effort level, right? Particularly when it's winning time. He is going for the finish. And they will get the basket here, folks, as they rule goaltender. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. Count it. And, and there's a pattern that's starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Horton Tucker, the pass to Maxi. Out to the wing. Isaac against Embiid. Shot clock at five. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. Shoots it. And the 76ers get it back. Los Angeles leading by six. Shots good from Young. Young's got 37. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Passes it to Horton Tucker. Now Embiid. A shot missing. Isaac with some nice D. For Los Angeles, they've gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Young from outside. That one doesn't go. And Philadelphia the other way now. Harris passes to Horton Tucker. And he makes that one. And credit Harris for creating that high percentage look. Scanning the floor and finding the best option. Harris inside the line. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Thibel kicks to Harris. Philadelphia moving the ball around. And that one's good. Thibel. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Wow. And that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg. That is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. Maybe even a question mark. 
And it goes down two Joel points. Embiid. Embiid's got 10 points in just the second half. And that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making Los shots. Angeles. Nice delivery there. Second personal foul. Simmons checked in for the 76ers. The the 76ers. Ben Simmons. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for Philadelphia. The pass to Embiid. Now, here's Maxi. Defense is right there. Embiid, no good. Los Angeles leading by four. Here's Young. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got 11 rebounds in the game. Driving in and slam dunk by Maxi. Big hops from the backcourt. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And maybe just what they need to get this game GA going in their direction. Boy, as tight as this one is, that's a statement play saying, hey, listen, we're not here to back down from you guys. Embiid finds Harris. Cloak loose. Young with the steal. Inside. Harris outside. From downtown. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And they recover it. He gets that one. This is from Young's got 43 points. Well, tremendous understanding from the young Jonathan Two Isaac. How game. about that Two awareness minutes. for the young guy? And the 76ers call time here. Get ready for the fifth squad. And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Ben Simmons. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge and Gordon Peele's home run. Well, during the break, we're listening in on Doc Rivers talking to the team. We told him, look, guys, we're running out of time. We're going to make a move. It's got to be now. Are you guys ready to make a move? They all nodded, and he said, then go take it, Kevin. Thank you, David. Embiid inside. Young's there. Embiid, no good. Just a cold shooting night. Needs to try to make it into the basket. Fires for three. Young's shot is off. The 76ers trail by eight. Down low. Bible, the pass to Simmons. Unable to get that one. Good defensive work there by Young. For Los Angeles, they've gone 7 of 13 from the field here in the fourth. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Young's got 47 points. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces, as it appears it'll be a nice win here for Los Angeles. And it may be a comfortable win for him, but, you know, they had to weather a few storms along the way, and that's all part of the storm. Yeah, Kevin, this was by no means the runaway that it might appear to be. It was a scrappy performance, though, all the way through. And it'll advance their win total up to 12 on the season. And with this win now, we're all square ben once and one. Two more games yet to come in what's proving to be a very competitive season series. I tell you, he's playing the game with pure excitement right now. He kept off that dunk with some serious hang time on the rim. Not enough ticks left on the clock to save him tonight. I'll tell you, it's never an easy point in the game. Knowing whatever you do, you're still coming away with the L. Here's Joe. To the left side wing. Wide open shot is on the money. Joe. And so they foul intentionally. Isaiah Joe. First personal foul. First team foul. Now in the 19 line, seconds left to play here in the fourth. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Tyrese Maxi. Second. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Shooting for Los Angeles. Second one is good. Bring both at the line. It's an eight-point game. And the 76ers call time here. They're trailing by eight. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? 
Some call them wins and lessons. Coach not wasting any time making his point. Well, maybe not his time, but this game is certainly finished. Let's get it over with. Niang, no good. Young against Reed. Young's shot is good. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. What an impressive performance to say the least. At this point it looks insurmountable. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. Some good competition but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused I think made the difference. Yeah and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home and they really seem to revel in that opportunity and, and this is what they came out to do. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Wendell. A great win. What were you guys thinking about coming into the game? Uh, I was trying to start a winning streak. We came into this game, and uh, you know, we got a good road win the other day. So we're just trying to get these fans what they've been waiting for. They're going to go home happy, man. Thanks very much. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Oldham. This is Kevin Arlen along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. See you later. In the second quarter, Splash was ready to take control of the game. After a Cedric Maxwell three, Splash took a 22 to 15 lead. Swaggy P. Holmes said, not on my watch. After getting an Anthony Davis dunk and a Kevin Garnett offensive rebound putback, Swaggy tied the game at 25. Splash responded with a yes on your watch. Splash would steal the ball with Cedric Maxwell and hit a three to take a 31 to 25 lead at the half. It was tied and all of a sudden you're down by six when you yeah. play. In the third quarter, Swaggy P. Holmes fought his way back, hitting a three with Kevin Garnett to make it a one point game, trailing 30 to 31. But Splash turned it up a notch to blow the game wide open. After splashing three after three after three, while Swaggy P. Holmes struggled to score. Splash took a 54 to 39 lead heading into the fourth. Outscored him 29 to 14 wow. in the third. Splash ended up winning game one 65 to 47 and one game closer to winning the $200,000. Splash takes game one. Woo, by a big. A stunning night in the Motor City. A view just across the river in Canada. Detroit shining brightly. If you're looking for a party this Saturday night, we're bringing you one. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. With Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce is our reporter. Allie, it's all yours.
BA, we've seen smaller market teams unhappy with how the buyout system has played out as of late. Agents using their leverage to get their clients to a more glamorous situation. Is it truly shifting the balance of power? That's subject to debate, guys, but these concerns aren't going away anytime soon. Well, we'll see what comes of it, Allie. Thank you. So a moment now to see the story for him. And a stat to focus on is his steal total over the last five games. He's been working on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot better on D. Now the starting group for the visitors. They've got Wagner. Jonathan Isaac is out there with Robin Lopez. And it's Harris in at the one spot. And for the Pistons, Cunningham and Bay, the wing pair. Isaiah Stewart out there with Jeremy Grant. And it's Joseph in at the one. And it's the Pistons to start out. Boy, some coaches starting to feel the hot seat now, Grant. You think players are aware when that's the case? No question, B.A. I mean, with how the present media is, it's impossible not to notice. But some coaches will discuss it and be open and transparent about it. And, of course, some coaches won't ever bring it up. Detroit with the ball. Back to Bay. Five on the clock. Misses off the right iron. Harris right side. And Harris throws it down. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. And Cunningham pulls it down. About a minute into this first quarter. Bay outside. Pass to Stewart. Here's Joseph, hounded by Harris. Inside, Grant. Oh, Grant throws it down. Tell you what, you give Joseph a passing lane in these pick and roll sets, and he takes advantage of it. Knocked away, and stolen by Stewart. Grant with it, now guarded by Harris. They get the rebound. Here's Cunningham, and the layup is good off the glass. You've got to be aware of him at all times. He's a bully on the backboards. You know, Cade Cunningham has proven he can get it done on offense. Now, check this out. Back in college, he racked up 13 points in just 91 seconds of play. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Out left to the wing. And here's Cunningham outside. Offensive board. Outside for Bay. Puts up a three. Doesn't go for him. And Los Angeles the other way now. Shoots. And he wills that one in. Sinking it right through the back of the iron. Cunningham's ability to find points really is impressive, Grant. You hope he has as much success in the league as he did in college. And yeah, B.A., with his pure shooting ability, I know he has what it takes. He just needs to put in the work and be ready to adapt to league play. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of four to get things going. The Pistons clear it. Last time they met was right here, and they were able to come out with a win. And last time out, they seized the advantage with their defensive pressure. They did a great job of just forcing a lot of turnovers. And that really was the difference. I mean, it requires a ton of energy to play that harassing style. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if they can do it again tonight. A savage reverse jam. That takes great body control. No question. He was making a statement right there, man. Memorable. Keep that one in the career highlight reel for sure. Here's Cunningham. His scoring ability is impressive, averaging 20 a game. And it's a defensive three-second violation. You know, when we talk about the new NBA and younger players who fit the mold, uh, Jonathan Isaac is actually kind of a poster child for that. Perfect for today's game. And so he hits the technical free throw. For Isaac, why do you think Jonathan is an ideal type of player for the current game, Clark? Well, you know, B.A. is simple. Every team wants a guy with length. And Isaac's got a 7-1 wingspan. He's a terrific athlete. And, you know, that combination leads to lots of block shots on defense and the ability to stretch the floor at the other end because he's a pretty good shooter. So as he continues to develop that three-point shot, watch out. He'll be the epitome of a 3-and-D guy. 
On the wing, Bay. Isaac covering. Just five to shoot. Back to Joseph. Over Isaac. Detroit, no good that time either. Well, it's a make or miss league. Sometimes the Jays just don't fall. It wasn't a bad shot. Young with the bucket. Sometimes with that much of a height advantage, resistance is futile. Here's Cunningham. That's tipped. It's stolen by Isaac. Outside Young. And Young slams it in. Terrific activity from Isaac. Excellent at using his length to get those steals. Pass to Graham. From deep. And Young pulls it down. Boy, just not scoring with the efficiency he'd like to. Tough quarter for him. And then Young slams it in. And adding to this lead right now, riding a wave of momentum. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G slam can. Just out of control. Already three fouls for him. He'll likely have to take a seat. Oh, Lennox checked in for Stewart. Kill. All in it. left in the first. Pass to Graham. Takes a 13-footer, and he can't get that one. And Los Angeles the other way now. Right side, Young. Sinks that one from the post. Young's got eight. Strong pass there to set up the basket. The Pistons trailing. Grant, right side, looking to end the run. And Young with the block. It's stolen by Olenek with the drive. And it's Olenek with a jam. Olenek adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Bay from long range. And he missed again. Now one of five. This has been a tough quarter for him and a challenging game for this team. Here's Young. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Here's Joseph. Guarded by Young. And Young with the block. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out. But you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And uh, they look strong here in the early going. Here's Cunningham. Again, the miss by the Pistons. Can't blame them. Just trying to take what the defense allows. It's stolen. With one on the clock. That one doesn't drop. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Up by nine. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. If you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? Well, it's simple. When you can dominate the boards at both ends, you can control the second chance touches. And you know, their rebounding advantage has been glaring, simply outworking them on the boards for that entire first quarter. Well, Los Angeles shooting 69%. I think they're even surprising themselves out there. They've got Kelly Olenek. Trey Lyles is out there with Jackson. Then there's Cunningham. And it's Magruder in at the point guard position. That's the group for Detroit starting the second. Here's Cunningham. Young with the double team. Here's Magruder. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. It's turned into a showdown here. Dueling from distance. Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. And Young gets it to go. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Pass to Cunningham. 
And the officials will call the illegal screen here. And now a peek at some of the players competing for a spot in the dunk contest. All of them true dunk artists who can do some spectacular things in the air. And I can't wait to see what these guys have dreamed up this year. The level of athleticism and creativity that goes into this contest is what makes it so incredible to watch. If he can keep raking in the votes and hold on to his number four spot, he'll make the cut for the contest for sure. And I see no reason why he shouldn't. And frankly, I think he's got a pretty good shot at wowing the judges and winning the whole thing. So that's how things are currently looking for the dunk contest. But of course, we'll update you with the latest news as we receive it. And as this lineup starts to take shape, this event is only getting more and more exciting. Now here's Harris. 14 points, their largest margin of the game. And Young gets it to go. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. Young's got three threes to go so far. Pass to Cunningham. Second quarter here, just over a minute and a half played. Here's Magruder. Can they get it? And it's good for two. He's got five. And last season, the NBA expanding eligibility for two-way players. Clark, great to see those who seized the opportunity and secured full NBA contracts. Yeah, B.A., I could not agree with you more. I mean, it's all about performance. And when guys show they're capable of playing at the highest level, they should have that chance. And I love the flexibility of the roster. It's giving hungry, talented players an opportunity to earn their way onto the big league team. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Young with the bucket. Really easy to appreciate Isaac. I mean, a solid teammate who's always ready to share the sugar. The floater. And it's Cunningham missing. Los Angeles has gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. Shot from 12. Young can't hit. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Here's Cunningham, hounded by Harris. Olenek for three. Again, the miss by the Pistons. Los Angeles has gone three of four from distance in this game. Here's Young. Rebound by Olenek. Detroit has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. You know, going back to 2014, Terrence Ross was a second-year player with the Raptors, and in the midst of that season where he averaged nine points per game, one night, Ross went off for 51. It's giving you a glimpse of his high-powered offense. And how about the mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Detroit calls timeout, and in that incredible game for Ross, he became the first NBA player to score 50 points in a season where they averaged less than 10 points per game. Yeah, in a home game against the Clippers, B.A., Ross was absolutely cooking, knocking down 10 threes, becoming the second Raptor ever to get half a hungee on somebody. Young against Jackson. Count the basket. Young's got 25 points. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Here's Cunningham. You have to be accurate there. Very little room for error passing on the interior. Harris passes to Young. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. He's got 27. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Miles, shot is good. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Pulls up. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. And Los Angeles leads by 21. The Pistons have gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Jackson against Harris with the 10-footer. He's now one for two with that bucket. And you know, Kevin, I don't think you can let Jackson get comfortable. I mean, especially in the pick and roll, because in that situation, he's platinum level. Harris finds Young. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. 
So far, guys, they've done a fantastic job finding the open man and getting some easy buckets. Something else they've done a good job of tonight, you know, right from the start, is penetrating and scoring. The Pistons have gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. Pass to Bay. Knocked loose. On the wing, Bay. Oh, rejected by Isaac. What a wingspan Isaac has. I mean, this guy is incredible at denying shots. And he loves to do it. Bay from long range. Well, he's now two for seven after that bucket. Here's Harris. Phenomenal stats on a consistent basis. Puts up over 24 points a game. Count it. Good. Young's got 32 points. You know, throughout this quarter, guys, they've had no answer for him defensively. And he's been absolutely relentless. Pass to Bay. There's 49 seconds left in the second. Here's Joseph. Young with the defensive effort. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. Here's Joseph. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Pass to Cunningham. And Young with the block. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard, guys, they really could have used his contribution. Here's Cunningham. Bay left side. Away team foul. There's six seconds left in the first half of this one. Cunningham gets it to go from 18 feet away. Cunningham's got five now. You've got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out, he brings it. And so it's Los Angeles. Up 19 points as the quarter comes to a close. A big difference in shooting percentages. That's why they lead. We'll be right back after this word. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. And guys for Los Angeles, Kenny, how'd you see it? Down in the paint, they're doing everything right. Seeking out high percentage looks. So far, the defense hasn't had any answer for that. And we'll see if those adjustments that the coaches are making at halftime work. And Shaq, how about what you saw from the Pistons? And they were gunning a little too much from that. They can't afford to come depend on that shot. They're going to compete consistently. I'd like to see them mix it up. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Los Angeles has gone three of four from distance in this game. And so in the game for Los Angeles, Wagner is out there with Jonathan Isaac. And it's Young in at the five, roaming the paint. Pass to Cunningham. Back to Joseph. And here's Bay. Here's Joseph. Grant outside. Fires from deep. Another three for Detroit. I tell you, I like the fact that Grant is selective in the shots that he takes. He's looking for quality. If he senses the defense is playing off him, as the pass is coming to him, he's prepared. He's getting shot ready as the pass is in the air. Goes up on the baseline. That one's wide left. Not his best night and not the team's best night. Sometimes it just goes that way. When you look back at the 2014 Donovan NBA Draft, Isaac. some of the best players of that class were second-round picks, including Jeremy Grant. Becoming a premier two-way wing, Grant was a steal going 39th overall to Philly. Ooh. Here's Bay. Pass to Joseph. Grant, right side. 
Shot clock at six. And that one's good. Coming in. Yeah, that's just good basketball there by Grant. Moving the ball to the wide open man and getting an assist out of it. In addition to Jeremy Grant, there were a bunch of great selections in that 2014 second round. Tell me about it. I mean, how about all-star Nikola Jokic? Probably the best player in the draft was a second rounder. Throw in Joe Harris, Spencer Dinwiddie, Jordan Clarkson, Dwight Powell, amongst the others. I mean, just showing that you can find talent late in drafts. And he hits the first of three. The second free throw is good. And he nails the third. And we're about a minute and a half in the second half. Here's Cunningham, pounded by Harris. Young with the double team. Pass to Joseph. Now here's Stewart. And Young with the block. To the inside. Grant with a steal. Here's Cunningham. Hounded by Harris. Here's Joseph. Another three for Detroit. That's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Harris passes to Young. Launches a three. Sends it home from three-point land. Young's got 45 points. He's really picked up where he left off in the first. Detroit calls timeout. And last season, a new entity, NBA Africa, created to handle all business on the continent. Grant, you're an investor. Can you talk a little bit about it? Yeah, it's so exciting, BA. First of all, the game of basketball growing all over the world and particularly on the continent in Africa. So I think it's not only great from a financial standpoint, but you're creating opportunities for the league and you're exposing people to Africa to this beautiful game. I think it's a win-win and I'm so excited. Oh, Lennox checked in for the Pistons. Jackson comes in for Bay. Kept alive. Harris passes to Isaac. Out to Harris. Pass to Wagner. Five to shoot. Here's Young. Oh, persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Young's got 47 points. Here's Cunningham. Pounded by Harris. There's Jackson with the three. Another three for Detroit. And their perimeter shooting numbers have been up since the start of the second half. And their lasers are starting to do their thing. I mean, that's going to be the ticket for them the rest of the way. Here's Young. Rebound by Olenek for Detroit. They've gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. The Pistons rebound. And Grant gets it to go. Well, I tell you, I think Grant's athleticism was what allowed him to win out there. Pass to Wagner. Here's Young. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Young's got 15 points in just the second half. He's carried much of the scoring load tonight. And with the win in reach, don't expect him to let up. Now here's Jackson. Isaac covering. Jackson against Young. Jackson on the wing. He's got five. Tipped away. Oh, stolen by Harris. For the finish. Here's Young. Another one falls. Amazing. And that gives him 51. Making it look easy. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Los Angeles. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ballgame. Something else they've excelled at is their interior D. Their rim protection has been outstanding. Great teamwork on that drive, punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Here's Cunningham. It's hauled in by Isaac. Isaac's got a rebound number five here tonight. Back to Young. 
from deep three-point range. The rebound by Jackson. Detroit has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Pass to Cunningham. Fires the three. And they recover it. Grant. And Young pulls it down. Young's got rebound number eight here already in the game. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Here's Cunningham. Ten points for him. They need this. He blocks it again. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Lyles, he's checked in for the Pistons. Here's Joseph. Right now averaging five and a half a game. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. After a first half where he had just one turnover, fellas, things have changed in the second. They're starting to pile up on him now. And the Pistons making a change here. Magruder's checked in. Now Los Angeles with it. It's been eight unanswered for them. Pass to Young. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. Harris has got 10 assists here tonight. So active. To the left wing. Got a piece of it. Ball's going up the court. The pull up. And that's not going to go. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead. This one may have already been decided. Delivering the blowout. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. We've got Saban Lee, Isaiah Stewart out there with Trey Lyles. And it's Magruder in at the two. That's the group for Detroit right now. Young with the double team. Pass to Lyles. Here's Magruder. Off the mark there with a three. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. Here's Young. Drives to the hoop. And he gets it to go. Young's got 57 points. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle um, at their offensive end. Pass to Livers. Here's Lyles. There's the triple. He's off on that one. Young against Stewart. From deep. Young misses. Detroit has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Livers driving inside. Soft touch off the glass. Ooh, an aggressive move. Takes it strong, and there's no help defensively. And in the 2021 Conference Finals, Three out of the four teams were helmed by black head coaches. Many hoping that'll help create more opportunities moving forward, Grant. No question. The NBA is number one in embracing diversity in its league. Now, we still have a long way to go, but you have to be proud of the coaches who performed, as you said, in last year's conference finals, but also seeing the steps move in the right direction this summer with a lot of hires who are African-American head coaches. So, you know, obviously, it's a results-driven business, but great Greater diversity is certainly welcome. Pass to Lee. To the middle. Here's Stewart. And finished off by Stewart. Well, I tell you what, his vertical is awesome off the charts. A short center who still makes his presence felt. Young can't hit. The Pistons have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. To the paint. And finished off by Stewart. 
I'll tell you, he is so tough to keep down once he gets near that rim. Yeah, he can get up even a few notches higher. Well, and that's exactly how the game is played in the paint inside, guys. I mean, if you can play over the top, I think you've got a big advantage. Pass to Magruder. Let's the three fly. The Pistons rebound. For Los Angeles, they've gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Here's Young. Yet another bucket. Oh, make that 61 points. Everything is going his way right now. The Pistons have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth time quarter. Out, and the Pistons a... call time here. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach nuts. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Sadiq Bay K. Cunningham. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth. Back to Stewart. And finished off by Stewart. Yeah, Joseph with depth and finding his open teammates, and that's exactly what you want from your point guard. Here's Young into the lane. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. And Young slams it in. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Grant's checked in for Lyles. And Grant, you played for a Suns team that was influential with their training staff's approach. How has sports medicine changed from the early days? You know, B.A., it has changed immensely. Nowadays, every team incorporates that foundation that that Suns medical staff had back in the day. It's all about prevention. It's about recovery. It's the big picture approach to making sure players can not only get through season after season, but have longevity throughout their careers. Detroit has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Here's Joseph. Down low. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Watch out below. Grant just showing no regard for the bucket there. Looking like he was trying to tear that thing off. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Oh, <laughs> showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Bay from long range drains the triple. Bay's got six here in the quarter. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Offensive rebound. Back to Wagner. Harris passes to Young. And Young slams it in. Yep, he's their leading scorer in this game and has been the dominant figure today. No doubt about it. 114 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Shoots from 12, and Grant gets it to go. And that is almost the perfect arc on that mid-range J from Grant. Um, you can see evidence of the work he's put into improving that jump shot of his. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. For Los Angeles, they've gone 7 of 14 here in the fourth from the floor. Young from long range. That one no good. And Detroit the other way now. Oh, connects again. What a game from him. 72 points. And he's been simply sensational throughout this one. Pass to Bay. Here's the three. Sinks it from distance. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. This is what winning is all about.
playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. No one covering. Bang. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. You know what? Teams can get a little three happy down the stretch sometimes, letting it fly. Here's Cunningham. And so the road team gets the W in this one. A statement road victory. So impressive. Statement indeed, B.A. It was in enemy territory, but they controlled the game and took the crowd completely out of it. That's how you win on the road. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Grant Hill, Clark Kellogg, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time.